Mine's October EMP. Today I'm going to be making a video showing new jailbreakers a little trick on finding the essential packages for your given devices. So this is found within the Insanely iPhone repo in Cydia and they recently just added this just to help out new jailbreakers seeing as there are so many new jailbreakers that you know you don't want to mess up your phone or download anything that's going to put you into safe mode and completely turn you off to jailbreaking and then you know you'll miss out on the experience you know that is jailbreaking and the jailbreak community so I'm going to show you how to get to those essential packages and tell you what most of those essential packages are so all you gotta do is open up Cydia alright so once you're inside Cydia you're just gonna wanna go into manage and then go into sources and then go and edit and add and you're gonna wanna add the following repo It's http forward slash forward slash repo dot insanely iPhone with a zero dot com forward slash then you can just press add source well, I already have that source so so once you're all done adding that source just press done and go into it and go into any of the packages it doesn't matter which package it is just go into the first one you see wait for it to load up and do its thing once it's all done loading up just scroll down to the bottom and there'll be all these different sections it says essential packages iPhone 4 essential iPhone 4 packages and iPhone 3GS packages so I'm just gonna click on the essential packages and go through some of these So as you can see right here, it, it gives you a description of what exactly they're doing for you. It's a list of essential packages to install after a recent jailbreak. If you are new to jailbreaking, this is a good list to look at for some essential packages. I think that you will enjoy your jailbreak on iDevice that much more after downloading some of the packages below. Alright, so here we go. So right here, the iOS repo, and that's um, I actually made a video about this I'll put in the description. It gives you all of the different um, packages that are com compatible with iOS 4 devices. So here we go. Oops. So first is iFile. Now I f what iFile allows you to do is go into your iPhone's files without having to SSH into your computer and go through it that way. Now open SSH is doing it the other way, going into your computer, SSHing into your phone and adding and deleting and manipulating files that way. SB settings is a little menu of toggles allowing you to turn off different things such as Wi-Fi and uh, your data and all these different things you can do with SB settings. Backgrounder is a true backgrounding application which allows you to run programs fully in the background whether it's downloading or installing an application or whatever it may be it's a true backgrounding application. multi cleaner I'm not too familiar with multi cleaner action menu gives you a bunch of different kinds of actions when you are typing and you hold um, when there's copy and paste come up a couple other different actions will come up as long along with those actions and then it has some recommended tools some big boss recommended tools down here but as we keep going down Sorry, I keep clicking on that. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's keep going down. It gives you another one. Auto close folder. That will automatically close a folder after you open it and go into the application. If you don't realize that after you exit out of the application, that folder is still open and that will automatically close that. App Sync, what that will do is allow you to play correct applications on your iPhone or iDevice. Covert, and that's private browsing and Safari. Gridlock, that allows you to put applications wherever you want on the springboard without them snapping back into all the way to the left of the screen. Iconoclasm is kind of the same kind of thing but it allows you to put your icons anywhere um, with no you know um, square 
setting, you know what I'm saying? Uh, install this um, allows you to download cracked apps. Pop-up blocker is that exactly it pop up pops um, blocks pop-up ads in different applications. Safari download manager allows you to download files directly from the internet. And Winterboard allows you to download and apply themes to your iPhone and Springboard and so on and so forth. Then we go down here and they show you a couple more different um, tweaks that you could download. Synchronicity allows you to use your phone while it's syncing with your computer. Five icon switcher puts five icons in the task task uh, the task switcher. Um, fast copy. I'm not really sure because I'm not too familiar with what that is or what daemon tool is as well. But those are the essential packages and then down here it'll just give you a list of all the iPhone 4 specific essential packages, the ones that are compatible. Here are some themes that are compatible with the iPhone 4. All down there, there's one after hours. Go to the iPhone 3GS and just give you a list of themes that are uh, compatible with the iPhone 3GS specifically. But that's it. I really recommend that those that are new with this at least you know go into the this section of the repo and look through the application, see which ones you like. These are all really good, and um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it helped you out. Um, make sure to subscribe or leave a comment and like my video. And uh, if you have any problems, just leave me a comment or you can send me a message. You can come follow me on Twitter or send me an email, whatever you want to do. But that's it. I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll talk to you later.